You know what I can't stand the most? Seeing YouTubers post irresponsibly about the recent X and Y leaks. You have to understand that Game Freak and Nintendo worked together in order to package this whole X and Y thing, releasing information that they wanted to release up until now, consensually on their website with different news reporting websites, etc, etc. They released the information that they want the public to know when they want them to know it. Recently, as you all probably know by now, X and Y was in the hands of people in the public and images from the game specifically were being uploaded to the internet. This is illegal, by the way. Like, this is not something which is like, okay, you know, you have an early copy and you just post pictures of it. No, this is illegal. You can get a serious fine if Nintendo really wishes to pursue it. And people have been getting some cease and desist orders from Nintendo specifically telling them, don't post leaked information about the fucking game. Obviously, Nintendo can't do much about it now since pretty much the game's whole guts were leaked to the public before the damn thing could even come within a week of being in the public's eye in the first place. Whatever. The game's leaked. Oh well. Information will happen. That's okay. I can understand that. But intentionally, Nintendo did not wish for any of this leaked information to be in the hands of the public before the launch of the official game. Now, when you're a YouTuber or a big Pokemon news reporting website or anything like that, you have to understand that since your videos are in the public eye, you have to take the necessary precautions to make sure sure that you adhere to the standards of the public. Meaning that if Nintendo did not want any of this stuff being leaked to the public, then you have to make sure that if you're going to report this stuff, you do so in a way that people have the choice whether to see it or not. If you look at any of these news reporting websites, Sarah B, Smogon, Bulbapedia, etc, etc, they all take the necessary precautions to ensure that the readers of their articles do not come into contact with the recent leaks unless they truly want to. Sarah B does not even post about the recent leaks on their main page, but they have a forum for where you can talk about the recent leaks if you wish. Therefore, I have a choice whether I want to be spoiled about the leaks or not. And I have a right to not be spoiled because this is information that was not officially revealed by Nintendo and actually Nintendo is against being revealed right now. That's why I have a right to not be spoiled to this information if I choose to. And all the websites that I've seen so far, which are pretty much at the forefront in reporting Nintendo and Pokemon news, are taking the necessary precautions to ensure that they do not spoil people who do not want to be spoiled to these leaks, which are illegal as it is. Let's get on the topic of Pokemon YouTubers. I will not name anybody specifically in this, just use your imagination. There have been PokeTubers who have been posting about these leaks ever since they started coming out around two, three days ago, non-stop. Like I said, I'm not naming any names. You can just do a search and see yourself. There's a lot of them, and they're all posting about this new leaked information non-stop. Here's my problem with this whole thing. When you're in the public eye of YouTube, your videos are going to be seen by a lot of people, especially if you have a subscriber base of over a thousand. You're going to have your videos in the public eye. Therefore, if people are Let's say, for example, searching X and Y, your videos will pop up if they are X and Y themed or have the subject of X and Y or anything relating to it in the title. But you have to take the precautions to make sure that with these leaks, you do not spoil people who do not want to be spoiled. There is no reason that I should be subscribed to a channel and see in my feed box the second that they post about some leak and, and tell me about it. These guys who have been posting these leaks, they've been specifically, specifically spoiling people. And I'm not talking about the video itself. I'm just talking about the thumbnail and the title of the videos. God damn, dude. I understand that you're excited about the X and Y leaks. Whatever. You may have wanted to spoil yourself. It's fine. I don't really I don't really have any concern with you spoiling yourself. I don't have concern with people who want to see the game themselves or have it spoiled to them beforehand. That's fine. I don't have a problem with you talking about the leaks or you wanting to show people the leaks. I don't have a problem with that. My fucking problem comes in when you do not take the necessary precautions to make sure that the people who do not want to get spoiled, which is quite a large number as it is, you do not take the precautions to spare those people these spoilers. How the hell do you talk about this unofficial leaked information in the thumbnail, in the title? Jesus Christ, dude. Like, there's a way to do this. Like, you have to have some kind of taste with it. This shit drives me fucking insane because the more people that are posting about these leaks, the more people are doing some inappropriate shit. And this is not the same as just regular information that Pokemon has released about X and Y. Like, for example, this is, does, the leaks do not count in the same information as how they revealed Mega Charizard X. Those are two totally different ways of reveals and two totally 
totally different things. Then the Pokemon company officially reveals something. They want the public to know about it. They, they want you, hey, look at this. This is also in the game. We want to build up your hype and anticipation for it. They do that specifically without the intention of ruining the entire game. So them telling us about Charizard Megaform X is different. Therefore, you can post about Mega Charizard X in your video title, and you can put a picture of him in your thumbnail. It's all good, because at that point, that is official information that Nintendo wants you to know about Pokemon X and Y, so that is okay. Where the problem starts is where the information is illegally obtained and distributed on the internet, and people do not want to know this stuff, but you're posting about it and putting it in your thumbnail, putting it in your title, that's where the problem starts. And there's a lot of YouTubers doing this shit, and I'm getting really, really tired of it. Come with me. Let me tell you how to actually post about leaked information correctly. Here's how to do it. You post a video if you want to talk about a new evolution, new Pokemon evolution possible in X and Y leaked. And that's all that you put in the video title. You don't put who the Pokemon is, you don't put where it evolves from, you don't put anything relating to the actual Pokemon itself, you just tell new form revealed or new Pokemon revealed. And you don't put any intentional stuff like spoilerific in the title. Here's how you do the thumbnail. You do not put a picture of the damn leaked Pokemon in the thumbnail. That's just not tasteful, man. It's not tasteful, especially when this information is information that people do not want to see. Or maybe it's information that people don't want to be spoiled on. But you're not giving them a choice. This is what not to do. Oh my god, Mega Pokemon Dick 2X revealed in the thumbnail. Oh my god, it's in the title, it's in the spoiler, 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 spoilers, leaks, leaks, leaks. I cannot stand that. There's a way of doing this shit. Oh my god, man. Oh boy. There's a difference. And then these are the same, like, like it's funny, these are the same dumbass YouTubers that'll tell you in the comments section for people who are complaining about seeing these spoilers, like a person can say, oh my God, why did you post about this? I Now I'm spoiled, I already know this exists and this kind of stupid because you know, I didn't expect this kind of thing. And you know what they had the nerve to say in the video responding to these people? Whoa, well, then just don't watch the video if you don't want to get spoiled. Motherfucker, you spoiled me from before the video was even watched. You spoiled me in the thumbnail. You spoiled me in my subscription box. What if I didn't want to know that Mega Dick 2X exists? Well, now I know. What if I didn't want to know that this Pokemon gets another evolution? Well, now I know. You see what I mean here? You can only use the argument of don't read the article or don't watch the video if the person who was spoiled specifically went into it knowing that they were going to be spoiled. You cannot use that argument when you do not give them a choice and you did not give us a fucking choice. You don't give your subscribers a choice when you post about this stuff and you have specific detailed leak information in the damn title and in the damn thumbnail. I just don't fucking understand it. Oh my God, man, I really do not get it. Like, it just seems so simple for me to understand. Why the hell are you, all of you guys who are posting all this leaked information need to take some proper precautions before you post it. Because to be honest, you're looking like a dick to maybe 40, 30% of your subscriber base because you're posting about this leaked information with no reserves whatsoever. I understand you wanna make that YouTube money. I understand that you wanna stack up your views on new information, whatever, I get it. I understand totally. For all you guys who are posting the leaks, whatever. I understand. I'm not trying to get at any of your asses. I'm not trying to cut any of you down. I'm just trying to tell you that your procedure and your practice is fucked up. Especially to people like me who are waiting to get a wholesome experience in this game, to get a new feeling experience. Thanks to you, it's ruined. God, man, I just really, I just really want to fuck a goat right now. That's how mad you make me. I want to fuck a goat. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Seriously, that's how angry I am. So please, if you're gonna be posting about the Pokemon X and Y leaks, please, please, please do so with discretion. Do so with respect to your viewers, please. For the people that wanna get spoiled, they'll click on the video regardless of if it has specific details about the Pokemon that you're spoiling or not. You do not have to put the image of the Pokemon in the damn thumbnail. You do not have to put the specifics of the de information and details about the Pokemon in the damn video title. You just don't. Just put new Pokemon revealed, question mark in the thumbnail, boom, your job is done. People who want to get spoiled will click, and people that don't want to get spoiled, like me and my group, will not click. And therefore, the people who come onto the video like that and are saying, oh, you spoiled me, well, it's your fault at that point, viewer, because you clicked on this video and you knew that there was a spoiler there, but you had a choice of whether you want to see it or not. So please, from this moment forward, regarding all the future X and Y leaks, give your fucking viewers a choice. Thank you.